So you wanna know about homes for sale in Gainesville, Florida? Well, stay tuned because I'm gonna drive you around a few of the different neighborhoods and show you exactly what to expect in each price range. Hey guys, Donovan Arnold here with Keller Williams Realty and I am a local real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. I put out these weekly videos to share with you exactly what you can expect if you're moving to the area and you know what sort of stuff there is to do, where to live and get all of your questions answered. So if you don't wanna miss a thing, make sure you start by clicking the subscribe button and also click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. So you wanna know about homes for sale in Gainesville, Florida. Well, since there's new homes coming on the market every single day, and there's gonna be different homes on the market when you start looking, I wanted to drive you around town and share with you a couple different neighborhoods and show you exactly what you could expect a neighborhood in your price range to look like. So let's go for a drive. So all of these neighborhoods that we're going to go through today are in Southwest Gainesville. And the first one ranges from about 150,000 on up to 200,000. And it's going to be Valwood. Homes in Valwood range in size from about 1,100 square feet on up to 1,700 square feet. Most of the homes in Valwood were built in the early 80s. And the lot size for most of the lots in Valwood are going to be about a third of an acre. And the nice thing about Valwood is that there is no HOA, so there's no monthly fees or anything like that. Another great neighborhood in Southwest Gainesville in that similar price range to check out would be Westwood. It's again located off of Tower Road and close to pretty much everything. The homes were built in the late 70s, early 80s similar size about 1100 square feet on up to 1700 square feet and you can expect prices to be in the mid 150s on up close to two hundred thousand dollars now moving up a little bit in price starting from about 225 and going a little over 300 the next neighborhood we'll go through is going to be mintone of course we're still in southwest gainesville this is going to be off archer road easy access to pretty much everything a straight shot back to shans and the va hospital Homes in Mintone range from the low about 225 on up to mid $300,000. Homes in Mintone were built in the late 90s, early 2000. Typically, the home sizes are gonna range anywhere from about 1,500 square feet on up to 2,500 square feet. And again, once you get to 2,500 square feet in those larger homes, you are up into the mid 300,000s. The lot sizes in Mintone range anywhere from about 0.2 acres on up to half an acre. The great thing about Mintone are the amenities. There is a great pool, playground, tennis courts, basketball, soccer fields. They have great amenities and they do have an HOA fee there of $150 per quarter. So another neighborhood to check out in that same price range is going to be Sunrise. That's again located off Tower Road. Going to be a little bit older homes. Most of them were built in the late 70s, early 80s. And the home sizes range from about 1,500 square feet on up to 2,300 square feet. And typically the price range for Sunrise is going to be maybe just under 200000 on up closer to $300,000. The lots in Sunrise are a little bit larger and you can expect to find most homes sitting on about a third of an acre on up close to half an acre lots. There is an HOA in Sunrise, but it's only $410 for the entire year. They do have a small basketball court and a small playground, but not a pool and a lot of other amenities. So a neighborhood from about 300,000 on up over 400,000 that I absolutely love would definitely be Avalon. Most of the homes in Avalon were built in the late 80s, early 90s. Home sizes range from about 2,000 square feet on up to 3,000 square feet. The majority of the lots in Avalon are half an acre lots. A lot of the homes have pools. There is a, an HOA in Avalon and it is $328 per year. They don't really have amenities, no pool, community pool, anything like that. Now, if you're looking for new construction, the next neighborhood you definitely want to take a look at. The price ranges vary from about 200, mid 200,000 on up over 400,000, and it's going to be Finley Woods. 
Finleywood started construction in about 2015 and they're still building in their second phase of the neighborhood. So there is currently new construction and the opportunity to get a brand new home in the neighborhood. Most of the homes in Finley Woods range from about 1,500 square feet on the smallest side on up over 3,000 square feet uh, for some of their larger options. The lots in Finley Woods are right around 0.18 acres. Finley Woods does have an HOA and they have quarterly fees of $270. They are, like I said, still building the neighborhood and will be having a clubhouse pool, tennis courts, and some great amenities. The really unique thing about Finley Woods is the way they've set the neighborhood up. No house backs up directly to another house. So all the homes either back up to open green space, woods, trails, that sort of thing. You're not looking directly into another neighbor's backyard. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because the million dollar neighborhoods are coming up next. Now, if you're looking for homes from 400,000 on up close to a million, one neighborhood that you certainly wanna go through is gonna be Wilds Plantation. The initial homes were built in Wilds Plantation in 2004 and they're just wrapping up the majority of the neighborhood now, but there is also right next door Wild Plantation Estates with new construction options. Most of the homes in Wilds Plantation are gonna range in size anywhere from 2,500 square feet on up to 4,000 and a few that are even larger than that. The lots in Wilds Plantation are all about half an acre there is an HOA in Wiles Plantation of $150 per quarter, but keep in mind there are not any amenities, no playgrounds, pools, tennis courts, or anything like that. So in a similar price range, the next neighborhood ranges anywhere from about $400,000 on up over a million dollars, and it'd be perfect for the person looking for multiple acres and wanting room to spread out, and that's going to be Hayes Glen. All of the lots in Hayes Glen are much larger. Most of the homes are on at least one and a half acres, but some of the lots are even up to six acres in size. The nice thing about Hayes Glen and the larger lots is that you can have horses in this area. It's also a great neighborhood if you're looking to do an addition or have an in-law suite or anything like that because you've got so much space. The homes in Hayes Glen will range in size anywhere from about 3,000 square feet on up to 6,000 square feet. Hayes Glen is just a great neighborhood because it's so close to everything yet you still have maybe even five acres of your own property to spread out on. Okay, so what you wanna do next is watch this video where I take you through Northwest Gainesville and share with you exactly what the homes look like in your price range.